Hey guys, how are you? Good. How are you? Great. Uh, how good. are you? Thank you. This one put me in the hot spirit. I had so much fun watching <laughs> this one. I mean, oh my God, reminds me of so much growing up, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, Shane, let's start with you. I mean, you guys co-wrote this. Um, how does that work? And what do you do? Like, do you fight over what, who has the better stories? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we've written, what, three or four together. So no, we yeah. have a good uh, a good partnership, a really good partnership. So we just kind of pass it back and forth and um, you know, I, I, you know, I think for this one, I came up with the storyline for the most part. And then Austin, I mean, he's a fantastic actor and writer. So we just kind of just passed it. He, he's excellent at dialogue, which I'm not. Oh, yeah. so, so, um, no, we just kind of go back and forth that way. It, it really, it really works well. It, yeah, I gotta so, say it's go really, ahead. it's really easy to write with Shane. I've written with other people and it is not like this. <laughs> um, a lot of writers are perfectionists as they should be. And not to say that Shane is not, but Shane, what I like about Shane is that we'll start doing something and we will finish it like quick. And so many writers will spend months and months and uh, years even perfecting a script. And it's, you know, you get to the point where you're like, what are we doing? Right. And you know, that's, that's what I like about our process is we'll talk about it. We'll get it going and, and we will have a script quickly. <laughs> well, this one was a lot, like I said, so much fun. And and I wanted to know what the inspiration was behind it, because I mean, who really doesn't have, I mean, there's so many elements here, but who doesn't have fam a little bit of family competition, you know, especially around the holiday? To well, hello, right? How about that? Okay. okay. How that about everyone's, everyone's favorite Christmas movie? Yeah. Oh, I, if I had a lot more time, I would tell you about my Christmas vacation interview experience. But yes, I did the interviews for that junket. But anyway. No way. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just oh. put it this way. Chevy Chase going forward from that day forward has not been my favorite person in the world. So let me just let me just tell you. We, that. We, it, let, can we schedule a whole nother Zoom to talk about 100%, it? hundred <laughs> percent. But, you know, Shane, I want to ask you, I mean, how how personal was this for you? You know, growing up, we would go skiing. I, I grew up in Kentucky, so not a lot, whole lot of ski slopes around here. But I would, I would go skiing with my family at Christmas, and then I worked for the X Games for ESPN. So I would go a week early or yeah. two weeks early just to ski. Lived in Breckenridge, Colorado, for a while just so I could ski longer. And uh, you know, there's a lot of family that's based around this as well. And yeah. you know, I, I don't want to name names, but I'm sure when they see it, they'll they'll go. That looks a little, you know. <laughs> yeah, I would think better. so. Yeah. And Austin, I mean, like, you know, as Shane just said, there's so, there's so many great people in this film. Like the cast is extraordinary. Um, it looked like you just had way too much fun. And Amy Smart being such a bitch in this, I loved it. I loved it. She's so bossy. Like she's just, she is just the holiday elf. I don't know what else to call her. <laughs> well, the great thing is that, you know, Amy, Amy's so lovely and likable that she, for us, she's the perfect casting because you know, this character could easily just be, I mean, you you could want to turn the movie off. For and sure. Yeah. Amy, I hear you saying. Amy's so lovable that she can play Lynn and we still care. And that's so important because we didn't want, we didn't want Lynn, everyone to hate Lynn. I mean, we need that character. We need that friction yes. for her and Elizabeth. But I think I, I couldn't be happier. And I think, you know, Shane and I talked a lot about that. Amy was such a blessing to have in that role. Yeah, and and let's talk about our great Canadian gal Mullen, who is so good. You know, whenever she's on state, you know, on screen, she just lights up the the screen. She's so fantastic. How open was she to just just being silly and just going there? It looks to me like everybody was just happy to do whatever. Shane, you know, she was one of the first ones to come on, and she really dove in. I mean, the fact that. You know, we don't have, she skis in this film. Like this is yes. not a stunt double for her skiing there. And, you know, she's, it, it was actually harder for her to look, you know, in the beginning, she kind of looks a little weary on her feet, but I mean, she, that was harder for her than actually trying to look like she was a professional. Yeah. But no, she brought so much. I mean, she and Amy go way back. Austin and her, I think one of her first films was was with Austin. So there's already Ryan Hansen and her done three or four films together. Right. So she kind of stepped in the producer, Daniel Cummings. I mean, 
so it, it was really like a family um, affair for this, and especially for me. My daughters are in the film as well. You um, just, my, that was my next question. I, you just hit on it. I was going to say, speaking of family, I mean, Austin, you get to play dad to Shane's three daughters. <laughs> They're adorable, by the way. They were really, really good in this. Um, so Shane, how good did Austin do in the daddy department? <laughs> <laughs> he nailed it, man. I, he, I've got a built-in babysitter from now on. I could just drop them off, you know. Uh, no, Austin and I, we go, what, seven, maybe 10 years back. We were neighbors we used, for a he while. used to be neighbors in, in Hollywood. So yeah, we go way back and we talked about doing something together that didn't work. And then we saw each other literally in our, in our driveways. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, we, we stayed in touch. We struck up a friendship and then, which eventually read to, led to writing scripts. And, um, so I, I remember, um, you know, I remember the first birth. I well, actually, I don't know if you guys had her when we were at that place, but um, I know these these little girls since they were they were brand new. And the most fun thing was they're playing these goth, like stone faced, dark little monsters. And in real life, they're the most lovely, Aww. sunshine, beautiful girls I've ever met in my life. So yeah. it was so fun after cut, and then almost impossible to keep a straight face when the cameras were rolling. I can imagine, you know, Uncle Austin, there you are, like just having a good time with, with these with these girls. And I, I love the whole um, idea, too, of the island Christmas, like how you threw that in and how five o'clock in the morning they have to get up and dance. And I love that aspect. Is that something that actually really happens like that? That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a real thing. I mean, yeah. we were I was looking for traditions. Austin and I were looking for traditions around the world and that kind yeah. of popped up. It's just so I don't want to say bizarre, but I mean, every morning at 5 a.m. till 7 before they go to work. And it's it's a wild little thing. So hopefully we can bring that to America. And, yeah, no, it, it was fun. I mean, I don't know if I want to, you know, get woken up by a, by a you know, a horn at five o'clock in the morning. But, you know, get used to it, I guess. Right? <laughs> it, it is a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, I had called the Christmas classic. And I want to ask each of you, what was what's your go to Christmas movie, Austin? Oh, all right. I, yeah, okay. Yeah, it might not be well, anymore I after like, I tell you my story, I mean, but whatever. I have a lot, but you know, Christmas Vacation, it, me and my sister, every year we get together and watch it. I also love, I mean, this is going to be a greatest hits, but It's a Wonderful Life of course. Um, is big for me. And um, uh, what's the Bing Crosby? Uh, um, White, Christmas. White Christmas. White Christmas. I love White Christmas. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. And Shane, how about you? What are you and the family thing. sit and watch? Yeah. I mean, well, now with my kids, I'm rediscovering Home Alone again. Yes. And, you know, the Grinch and, and things, those kind of be on a loop. But, you know, my wife and I will watch, you know, It's a Wonderful Life or, you know, we always have Christmas vacation, of course, going on. And, and you know, it's, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of kids films, a lot of kids. Uh, you know, we watched uh, the original Rudolph last night. Oh, fun. Movie, so, you know, it's oh. it's fun to see things that I haven't seen since I was a kid and see it through their eyes. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta throw in. I gotta Charlie throw Brown. In. What about Charlie Brown? Oh yeah, oh, of course, one. that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, I love how Burl Ives just reappears every Christmas. I just walked into like a Walmart and Burl Ives was singing, and <laughs> I, he's like he's such a beautiful voice and such a beautiful yes. actor. But I think it's so strange how he just becomes this thing every Christmas. And like kids today probably don't even know who he is. I mean, I didn't know who he was until right. I saw a cat on a hot tin roof. And my dad explained to me who Burl Ives was. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. But, but I wanted to throw in Die Hard because it's such an unlikely Christmas movie. And I always make people watch it. Yeah, no, it is. It, it, yeah, there is the debate about Die Hard. But I agree with you. It just has that got to watch it around this time of the year um just before i wrap austin i got to address the walking dead because all time my favorite my favorite show haven't missed one episode ever like it's the best what was the experience and i always said i wanted to be a zombie like i really just wanted to go down to atlanta and be a zombie i still like you know oh, i know there's other other iterations but what was it like to to work on that with those people and that you know just to me it seemed like family you know talk about family That's it was a family it was set. an incredible experience with such a great group of actors. I mean, if you look at if you look at some of the careers now after they've left the show, Stephen right. Yin and I mean everybody, deny there's I I could literally go on and on at what people have done that's just incredible work since then. Yeah. 
Um, I had so much fun working with these actors and telling this story and being a part of this huge fandom that it, you know, is, is its own huge business. So there's conventions, there's, you know, yeah. products, there's toys, there's weapons, there's, they've made everything. And I've never been a part of something like that. It was really hard because I was playing such a horrible guy. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you and were, but you did you a good did, job. Yeah. You come on the walking dead and you're like, okay, am I going to, am I going to be a hero or am I going to be a bad guy? And cause a lot of times you don't know, unless it's, you know, a really, you know, I was in the comic book, so I kind of knew who he was and I was a little right. nervous. Like, oh guys, he just going to be a spoiled rich kid. And you know, there was moments where they were kind of teasing you with, he could become, he could make, turn the corner and become a good guy. And then I'm kind of going, well, am I going to get a weapon? When, what's my weapon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at Jeffrey Dean Morgan. My God, you know, there was a time where Spencer, we really hated him on that show. <laughs> yeah. But Spencer yeah. turned out to be a punk and he died a punk's death, but yes. his death was one of um, the fans and people have told me that it's one of the best deaths um, on the series. And so I, I have no complaints. I was so thrilled and had such a ball doing it. Well, wonderful. Well, there's no deaths in this movie. Thank goodness. It's all just fun and family. And it's just, it's a great, great film. Lots of fun. And thank you so much for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. And happy holidays to you both and your families. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Happy thank holidays. You, Bonnie. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.